Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Last time, we got our basics in, and we are making more friendships, just like with Alexis Rhodes here. Pharaoh, thank you so much for being the best kitty ever. He is a kitty magnet, because I'm not saying the other one. Alright, let's see. Hi there, my name's Tristan, nice to meet you. Do you know Cyrus from Slifer Red? I've heard Cyrus has a real older brother. Uh, okay. Cool. Tristan, do you want to duel me? I have improved our deck since last time with the cards that we got last time. Yes, Sangin is banned. So even though we got super rare with that draw, we can't use it. I, got, I was super depressed when I saw that. But it makes sense. That card is OP as hell. So the only really rare card we got and we can't even use it because it's too good. And damn it, please let me go first, Tristan. Please. Please. Damn it. Okay. Well, Tristan, you lucky, lucky man. I still have changed my deck to the wet deck against his clown brigade. So yes, every opponent you face does have a character-specific deck. It is pretty cool. Let's see what his is about. All right, draw. What do you got, Tristan? What, what's your monsters? You got Palm- Holy crap, you're starting with Palmerization? What the hell kind of hand did you draw? He drew Bickery Box? That's like my favorite clown. He drew, I think that's his boss monster. That might be his strongest monster and he freaking summoned it right now. What the hell? What the absolute hell? Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. <laughs> I don't want to see you. Luckily, I, I did draw Nightmare Penguin, which, uh, really broken card. It's gonna save us, guys. It will save us. So we're not in any real danger. Let's go ahead and get us a little cure. Yeah, I need the, I need that, I need that. And then we'll set Umi down. And I'll give Nightmare Penguin a boost. Yeah, he had the fusion materials to get out a freaking Bickery box on his first turn. That is scary. Alright, well, let's see what you got. He's gonna summon Dream Clown. Yeah, that clown is actually pretty good. I use it in my real deck. In real life, I mean. Alright, Wood Clown to go along with the Dream Clown. Very interesting. So, what is his uh, ability? He's going to attack with the Dream Clown, which is a terrible idea. So I'm going to let it happen so he can take damage. And then I'm going to activate my Nightmare Penguin's effect. Which, when he is flipped, I get to select a target from field to put back in his hand. But since I picked a Fusion Monster, it goes back to the extra deck. Which means he lost his best monster just like that. Alright, I need a good monster card. Come on. Yomi Ship is a tactical monster card. Because this guy here is going to kill me. So, in order to stop it from killing my Nightmare Penguin, which... Oh, Nightmare Penguin is stronger thanks to the Umi field. Never mind. We're in the clear. Let's go ahead and summon our Aqua, th our Aqua thing. I forgot that Umi's on the field because I'm just not used to the backgrounds being animations. So, let's go ahead and do this. You have 1,200 attack. You have 1,300 attack. You destroy the Dream Clown because it's a problem. But yeah, his deck is called the Clown Brigade and he isn't joking. He has a bunch of clown monsters. Most of them are weak, which is why he's a Slifer Red student. If you play any of the other students from other, other classes, you'll see they have more streamlined decks, more powerful decks, with way better spells and trap cards. So in the beginning of the game, I do recommend just sticking to the Slifer Red students. Don't try to take on anybody that's in Obelisk or in uh, Raw Yellow, because their spell and trap cards will destroy you. It's not just their monsters. Ooh, Clown Zombie. That is stronger than me. I admit it, that is stronger than me. Alright, so, not a bad idea. You're trying to get rid of my... Oh, I thought you tried to get rid of my Nightmare Penguin, but never mind. I'm gonna protect him. Because I have a plan for that one. I want it to be my tribute monster when I draw a monster to tribute. Right, game? Okay, well, I didn't have that happen, but... Fiend Kraken is strong enough to defeat this opponent, so we're in the clear. Thanks to the Umi Field and the Nightmare Penguin. Which, is it just me, or did the Umi Field just turn into blue, and it doesn't look like an ocean anymore? I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Looks more like a sky now. Alright, Tristan, I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you beat me. Give me your monies. I want more cards to be more powerful. And to get that, I need to defeat you. Ooh, he's in the yellow zone now. We've knocked him out of the blue. And now, just a little bit more power. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. This monster has an effect. While Umi is on the field... Uh, this card is unaffected by any spell card, so if you were to play something like Dark Hole, which he shouldn't have because he's a Slifer Red student, 
<coughs> he wouldn't be destroyed. Which is pretty cool. He's a weak monster, so it doesn't really matter, but it's cool. Alright, sets. I feel like the clowns actually have some pretty good defenses, like that wood clown monster. So I gotta be careful what I attack with. Oh, I added this to our deck inscription. We got, we got it in the packs yesterday. Or whenever the last episode was. Last episode. Alright, let's go ahead and battle. Bean Kraken, go ahead and do your thing. Yep, I was right. It is a very it was Saggy the Dark Clown. That thing has 1500 defense. All my other monsters would have done nothing to it. So I'm glad I chose to attack with my other guy. And I think you get to live one more turn, buddy. Good for you. Enjoy your last turn on Earth. Alright, and Yoma ship. Man, am I about to win with 9,000 life points? Because that's that's going to be a hard record to beat. Remember that every time you duel, it does try to keep a record of how good you did. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Slifer Red. What else do you got? Oh, wait, I could use Conscription. That would be fun. I, I want to do it on my turn, though. I don't like doing it on my opponent's turn, because then that just gives them an extra draw if I am unlucky. Alright. Ooh, Torpedo Fish. It also has an effect when this is on the field. While he's on the field, this card... Oh, yeah, same thing. Unaffected by spell cards. Alright, well, let's try Conscription just to be fun. Okay, draw... It was a monster, so we get to summon it. Okay. It was Saggy the Dark Clown, so it doesn't... It's not a very good monster, but if it would have been one of his stronger monsters, it could have been a fun time. So, go ahead, Kraken. Destroy him. Brew Kishin Clown. That's an interesting one. And Nightmare Penguin, win us the duel because you technically won us the duel from the beginning. That's game. Alright, this kid sucks. I'm sorry, guys. I expected way more from clowns. Yep, get on your knees. It's time. Also, give me... <laughs> I'm not going to give you DP, but give me DP points, please. New high school bonus. Dual bonus. So, look at that. Uh, level up bonus because we leveled up. Yes, you do have a level. And your level will determine what packs you're allowed to buy. Uh, I don't... I think there's a status menu if you want to see what level you are. We're probably, like, level 2. Because we've only done two duels. So, that's a thing. Had we lost those two duels, we probably would not be level 2, but we won them. Alright, so I will be doing this. This is how I'm going to do this Let's Play. I will add some duels in, and then I will go and do the, the talking part. Then I'll add some duels in, go do the talking part. Yeah, we'll duel again sometime, buddy. We'll duel again. Even though you're not worth anything now that I dueled you once. Alright, where are, is everybody? Ooh, they're at the store. And honestly, Chaz is useless because you can't talk to him, but he's they're at the store. So let's go to the store and talk to all our best buds. And since this is the store in the daytime, or after class, uh, it should be laggy. Yep, it's laggy, and that's ex exactly how we want it. All right, Chumley, what's up? Cooper, what did what, what did you buy today? A pack or a sandwich? I'm going to buy both, actually. Um, I just want to talk about duels. Yeah, thank you, buddy. We had a great talk, as always. Uh, Jaden Yuki, as I live and breathe. Huh, I'm not having any luck with sandwiches today. Oh, all I could draw are dried sardine sandwiches? That's nasty. Yeah, it's actually nasty. Uh, duels. Oh, and just like in the GX game, the anti-rule is banned on the island, so we can't anti for cards. Oh, I was trying to talk to you, Cyrus. Don't you walk away from me, you little jerk. Oh, man. So if you don't have any DP, you can't get better, which is kind of like real life. It's like you need a job to get better, but if you don't have a job, you'll never get better. But the people that want to get better don't have job. Yeah, it's, it's a sad, sad world we live in. All right, random guy number two. I've already talked to my friend, so let's duel. Hey, it's Geary. Ah, nice to meet you. I'm always jumpy. Okay, did I... Uh, it's my turn. Yeah, you jumped the gun. We haven't even started the duel yet. Let's see what kind of deck you use. All the decks are very different and very interesting, so it's cool. Like, we just bought a clown deck. I'm sure uh, some people out there don't like that, but... I'm sure some of you like clowns. Come on. Give them a break. Ah, oh, damn it. It was way better the first episode. Oh, okay, but he, Geary's a good guy. Geary's a good guy. We still get to go first. He was like, you know what? His almighty queen. So he, he, he's all about the queens, you know? Oh, man. I bet you don't have a girlfriend, Geary. All right, let's do this. Um, we're going to activate Umi. Ooh, Dust Tornado is not a bad... Oh, no, I don't want to summon you. Oh, the game auto puts it somewhere. Oh, okay, that was annoying. I wanted to summon Nightmare Paint. It was going to be the best start ever. 
All right, well, I kind of got screwed because the game auto goes to your cards after you set a card. So, yeah, that happened. All right, well, at least I know my Violent Range stronger than whatever he has. That's a good card. That card is really good if you run an Exodia deck. Probably not anymore, but back in my day. <laughs> it, I, I used to do that, at least. I used to. Don't judge. I, all use, I also use it for low-level decks. With low-level monsters, I like doing that. Alright, uh, Stimpak's good, but only when we're doing direct damage, so I'm gonna give it a break. 1750, there's no way he can take this. That's what I thought. Alright, let's end our turn. Honestly, he probably doesn't have any traps I have to worry about. I can, I can honest, I can destroy that card. Oh, he got it. He got a monster, and it was a, it was a female monster. So basically, that's what his whole thing, his whole gimmick's about. He draws a bunch of female monsters. His queens. They're all queens. Alright, they're not thoughts. Alright, we don't need this. He still gets the effect because I did it too late, but let's see what- Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. He's gonna use another Sonic Maid. Are you about to attack me? I, I highly recommend you don't do what you're about to do. I highly recommend it. Oh, this Slifer Red. Yes, yeah, Slifer Slackers actually do play pretty bad. If you play a raw yellow, they will play better. If you play a obelisk blue, they will play the best. It is pretty cool, but it is also kind of racist. Or classist. I don't know. Since it's still based on color, I think I can call it racist. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just go for the win. Fiend Kraken. With you in attack mode. You will power up. Of all things, our Nightmare Penguin, because Nightmare Penguin is the most important card. And then, I'm not going for maximum attack. Let's go for it. 1950. Holy crap, we're doing so much damage. Now, this deck this deck I've made, which barely has any changes to it, is way better than the deck we started with. Alright, are we going to knock him to red in one freaking attack phase? I think we are. Holy crap. This kid, this kid's life is getting destroyed. Sorry, Geary. Oh my gosh. If we were playing regular yu if we were playing actual GX Yu-Gi-Oh! and you only had 4,000 life points, you'd be screwed, kid. 4,000 is just too little, isn't it? Alright, what are you drawing? He's like, Dark Hole! And I'm gonna be like, shit! <laughs> that always happens! Or change of heart. I wonder what's banned at this time. I need to look at the forbidden list. There's probably some really good cards banned. Like my Sand Gan. Alright, I'm gonna summon my Torpedo Fish. Because they'll be protected from the cards I just said. Uh, go ahead and attack. Yeah, the thing about St oh, Protector of the Throne, I like her fusion. Uh, the thing about Stimpak is even though it gives you a 700 attack point boost, every turn it drops it by 200. So, that's a thing to keep in mind. You know what, I'm gonna attack with Fiend Kraken because I want to do maximum damage. So let's leave him with- I think you do get more points for doing as much damage as possible. So, we'll do that, and then we'll do another 18 on top of it. So for money reasons, I'm going to make him suffer. And that is G GX Duel Academy rules. The school says torture your opponents. You know that episode with Yugi where he just kept attacking Weevil even after the duel was over? GX goes by those rules. Alright, he's on his knees. That's that's how you know he's defeated. That's how you know anybody's been defeated. Alright, let's see. Level up bonus. Wow, we leveled up again just from one duel? That's insane. Uh, new high score bonus. Uh, let's see. 120 DP. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Probably because we won that in so few turns. I don't usually do that with a water deck. I need I usually with the wet deck. I usually need a a hard deck to win. All right. I do like this little loading screen with the Ojama yellow. That's kind of cute. I mean, I don't think Ojama yellow is cute, but I think it's a cute idea for a loading screen. All right, Dorothy. I, ah, okay. Yes, the lag is harsh. We know. Let's see if the lag will help us get a sandwich. Alright, looking at all the sandwiches, doesn't look like there's anything special in there. Like, nothing is special there. So I'll just press X randomly. Alright, we got a spicy curry sandwich. I think that's a sandwich Jaden likes. So I don't know if I'd mind giving that to Jaden. Here, Dorothy, can we get one more sandwich? Just one. It's good to have multiple sandwiches. You should have more than one, but I'm curious. Yeah, it does change the results. Um, of all these sandwiches, the cheese pizza sandwich is probably the best you can get. I feel like everybody likes that pizza. And I got it. The cook sandwich. Yes. The cooks. It looks like a cheese pizza to me. 
the cook sandwich is probably the best uh, non-legendary sandwich to get. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Sadie. Welcome. Would you like some cards? You bet your butt I want some cards. I need to change my deck. As good as it as it's doing, it's only beating Sly for slackers. Of which I am one. All right, let's see. So now we can no longer die, buy Bastion cards. Yes, it does change over time what you can buy, even after just the class, even though class had just passed by. So you got to take advantage of the time you have to buy these cards. Um, but I do want to get more basic cards. Okay, I want that pack and I want this pack. And I'm sure this one's good too. And then spells. I really do want to get a sword because that would be so good. So broken. All right. And effect monsters. There are some good effect monsters in this pack, so I'm going to try and get some more even though it's an expensive pack. And then the step up spell and trap cards are also pretty good, so got to get some of these. And then, you know what? We'll buy one of uh, Alexis's packs so you guys can see her cards. And we'll buy one extra spell and trap card pack. There we go. As you can see, I spend my money very, uh, very often, but it's fine. Fungi of the Must. Terrible. Terrible. Another one of you. Ew. Oh, God. I got some bad cards in that pack. Hopefully we get better. Okay. Gigabyte. Nope. Kojikosi. Something, I guess. Nath Graveyard. Another Calligrapher. Another Curse of Dragon. Unlucky. All right. Golgile. Nothing. Jellyfish. Don't already have it. Two Nalgare is kind of cool. Bean Soldier and another people running about. Unlucky with those packs today. Swords. Trying. Okay. With the Gigabyte, that's not bad. Energy, Ancient Telescope, Snake Fang, Wabaku! Hell yeah, I'm putting another one in our deck, because that's a good trap card. Alright, Reinforcements, I like that card. Life Equalizer is pretty good. Order of Just Smash. Oh god, that's a good one. Order to Smash. Oh, Life Force Sword again. Come on. I've only opened packs twice, and I'm already getting doubles of rares. That's sad. Mooka Mooka is pretty cool. Ceremonial Bell. Pinch Hopper! If I make an insect deck, that is going in there. I like Pinch Hopper. The Little Swordsman of Ale. Great Phantom Thief. Not bad. Zone Eater. Dark Sage. Cool. Uh, Sword Hunter is not that great. No, thank you. Alright. Dimensional Hole is good in uh, Duels of the Roses, but not here. Fiend's Hand. Monster Gate! Oh! Oh, is that a good card? Oh my god. Okay, next to be lost, Interdimensional Transporter, Karma Cut. I think that's a decent card. I don't know what that double card is, sorry. Tail Swipe, Chain Disappearance, Mind Crush. Oh, Mind Crush. Thousand Knives. Ooh, Dark Magic Curtain. If I can get a Dark Magician, which is only in the Blue Eyes pack, so that's going to be rare. It's an ultra rare. Blade Skater, that's cool. Cyber Tutu. Got a Shadow Tamer. And Divide Sword, Sea Phoenix Blade, which is actually kind of broken. Alright, so we got some decent cards out of that, I, I would say. I would say we got some damn decent cards out of that. So, let us continue. Alright, so we've already dueled just about everybody here that I care to duel today. We will be dueling everybody in this academy eventually. But we have 91 days to do it, so... I mean, I'm not worried. Let's go talk to Bastion. Bastion. I got me a kitty cat that you can pet, and then we're going to have a great conversation because of it. I'm going to make you blush. All right, Bastion, what you want? Oh, yeah, he's training out here in the woods by drawing cards. I know, very awkward. Let's duel. Yeah, of course you could talk to me, man. I'm your friend. It's me, Cooper. All right, let's go talk to Zane so he can not blush because he's a little tease, and I hate that. God damn it, Zane. Don't know what will make him blush. Okay, this is another laggy area. This game has a lot of laggy areas. Maybe, probably because they animated the ocean. That's probably what did it. Oh, yeah. You're Cyrus Truesdale's brother, huh? Yeah, so Cyrus's big brother is Zane. We're going to talk about the Academy. I feel like that's something you would like to talk about. Duels the Academy. You probably don't like hobbies. Just based on your personality. Your great, great personality. Alright. So, it doesn't... I don't, there is no food until 7 p.m., which is in two hours, so you can't really do much, and honestly, you don't even have to go get food, because going to the dorm to get food, all it, all it does is it makes it so you can duel anybody in the Slife of Red dorm, because they all appear to go get some food, but yeah, we already did that. Oh, I haven't dueled you yet. I want to do one more duel to end off the day, but I don't want to duel anyone basic. 
I want to duel this person. Hello there. Let's duel. You must be the transfer student. My name's... I mean, I'm Blair. Everyone says I look like a girl, but I'm not. What's wrong? Huh? You want to duel? All right. So this is Blair, even though she's not like a main character kind of thing in this game, we all know who Blair is. She is a main character in GX Duel Academy, so I feel like it'd be nice to get a final duel in against her. So Blair, let's see if you're going to be nice to me. That's right, alright. I'm going to go first, Blair, I'm sorry. There's nothing you could do to stop me about it. Stop me, I'm going first. Serene Silence, yep, versus the Wet Deck. I'm starting to uh, bring it on. Yeah, I'm starting to regret calling it the wet deck. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear that. Alright, uh, let's draw. We already drew one of our best monsters. Uh, honestly, this is probably one of our best monsters, too. We drew such a good hand, honestly. Like, this could be one of the best hands ever if we, uh, play our cards right. Yep. I love that they give her, like, a cutesy background. It's like, I'm not a bo I'm not a girl. And no, it's not that she doesn't sexually identify as a girl, it's literally that uh, she has to disguise herself so that she just looks like a young boy rather than a young girl because she's underage and she's not supposed to be at this academy at the moment. Alright, we're using Conscription to try and steal one of her monsters. Whoa! Oh, because it's a monster, she has Silent Magician level 8. Because it's a monster that can't be special summoned in any other way, we didn't get it to our side of the field. But now I know she has Silent Magician level 8, so I'm in, I'm a little scared. I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Alright, so we're gonna go with Giant Red Sea Snake. I was planning on tributing the monster we stole from her, but because she has that, now I'm a little bit more worried. This is the first time we're doing so- Oh, look, Silent Magician level 4, so she was ready to set it up. This is the first time we're facing someone that actually might have some decent cards. I don't know how, how, how good, but let's say decent. Alright, what do you got now? Blair. Set a monster. Yeah, I thought my sea snake would scare you. So she has two face downs, but she's just not using them. Interesting. Uh, I, Maiden would give us a fake Umi, but I don't really need the fake Umi. Let's just go with attack at the moment. And then we can power up our guy, because this is fish. He doesn't get powered up. Yeah, let's power up our sea snake. There. No! I, oh, wait, it can power him up? I didn't know that. Do you have MST? That's such a good card. I want MST. Holy crap, Mystical Space Typhoon is super good. So even though she's a Slifer Red, she has above average cards. She has like raw le yellow level cards. So that's not bad, not bad. Um, I think I'll keep it in defense mode just to bait out an attack eventually. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. I should have attacked first. Okay, well now she has a tribute monster, so that's not good. Because maybe she'll summon something with her tribute. And I don't remember her strongest monster. It's probably Silent Magician level 8, but still. Silent Swordsman level 5. That's one hell of a monster right there. No spell cards affect that card. So, yeah, that's scary. Luckily, I do have a negate attack. And the monster... I do have my strongest monster in my hand. Because without this, we would not defeat that monster. Oh, two of them. Wow. Yeah, we need to... We, we need this guy. Without Amphibian Beast, we would lose to Silent Swordsman. Plus... There's such thing, uh, there is such a thing as Silent Swordsman level 7, and I don't plan on see making her summon that, so let's kill it. Yeah, take that, Silent Swordsman level 5. Yeah, I know you're not done. You like to use Yugi cards, I've come to notice. Let's see how you do against this, then. Like, basic Yugi cards, not Yami Yugi cards. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Blair Flanagan. She's actually a pretty good duelist. I, I don't know about this game if she's any good. I would say she's above Slifer Red level, below Raw Yellow level. So, not not the best. She's like a 1.5. Like, she's not Super Saiyan. She's, I mean, she's not a Super Saiyan, but she's not a Super Saiyan 2. She's more of a Super Vegeta. Ah, <laughs> oh, what the hell? You're bringing back Silent Swordsman. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't stop that. Alright, so what's your plan then? So he need it needs to, by, yeah, it, she needs to attack me directly to be able to sp uh, special summon Silent Swordsman level 5, or 7. So I'm glad I haven't given her that opportunity. Let's go ahead and heal our life points a bit, she's done a little too much damage to us. I want to be positive, not negative. Alright, luckily she didn't find any way to defeat our Amphibian Beast, she just did some damage to us. 
So, if anything, that premature burial was a little premature. And now, yeah, ouchie, I mean, ow, no, you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody says ouchie, not even girls. That's, that's what kids say. And you are a child, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, Kisobi attack. Oh man, this poor girl, she's dead. She has no chance of stopping us. Alright, she's drawing. And what did you get? Oh, come on. Let me see it at least. Mother Grizzly. Okay, well, you know what? I want to summon another Amphibian Beast. I want two of my strongest monsters. Or, well, my two strongest monsters on the field together. I have two red eyes on my side of the field, basically. Hey, another 2,000 defense point mon- Her deck is not that bad. 2,000 defense point monsters into level 5 Silent Swordsman is not bad. Alright, we win the duel. I should have made her bleed a little more, but I didn't. Eh, I mean, this bites. Okay, you know what? That's more of what a, a lame male character would say in an anime. Got some good money from Blair. And... Does she have anything else to give us or say to us? Or is that just going to be it? Yeah, everyone watch the little Ojama. No way, I lost. I must be having a bad day or something. Well, see you later. Alright. So now we've deal dueled like a main character. So everybody, that's going to be it. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we're going to get a ton more duels in. And we will probably end off our first day. So, I will see you all then.